Hi, I'm Sasha and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about my bag collection. I decided to do this video because I did a little like room tour on my IG stories and uh, also showed off like my little bags cupboard and people have asked me to show what is inside so I took them all and put them on the table and today I'm going to be talking about which ones I like the best, whether good, not good, stuff like that. I guess I bought my first branded bag only maybe 3 years back or 2 years ago. It is quite a fairly new thing that I started because in the past I never used to want to buy any branded bag. I used to think that branded bags all look very like office and very working and kind of boring. Like I like juvenile pink pastel kind of stuff, right? Somehow the branded stuff just never appealed to me. I don't know whether is it because I grew up or maybe designs have changed over the years. Suddenly it's just like I just keep seeing stuff that I like and then keep buying them lah. So the first bag I want to show you guys is this. Uh, this is a bag from Balenciaga. It's their paper, or I don't know how to pronounce that, sort of French for paper, paper collection, where it is a lot lighter and very thin material compared to their usual motorcycle bags. You know, some people have said that this is really not very me, but I actually really like this bag because it's very spacious and very light at the same time. I got this bag not with like my own money, so it was in exchange for an ad with Ribbon. So far, I must say I brought it to many places already. The quality just remains pretty good no scratches or anything yep so like this one so this is the first branded bag that i bought for myself Miu Miu came up with this like sort of basket collection which looks really like summer and kind of very different from the rest of the usual normal bag shape that you have like they also have a like a rectangle version one it comes in pink white and black so i really love this and i was thinking so hard between the white and the pink but then i decided to go with the white because i feel like white can match more things la. although the pink one is also very nice good thing first la, it is very light it goes with most like summer dresses you can see that the base is very big so you can actually put quite a lot of items inside bad thing is that i guess it's white so it gets dirty easily but you know i was thinking also when i bought this bag i don't want to be like i don't want to use it just because it's white then it's very pointless right spend money on a bag and then don't actually use it so I was just like fuck it if it gets dirty it gets dirty okay one more bad thing about this bag is that this thing keeps curling upwards yeah so I don't know what to do about it it's fucking annoying but I, I guess it's at the back so you can really see like, huh? this is also one of the bags that I got from Ribbons um, and it is a YSL like I don't know what this design is even called but I really really love this bag a lot um, it is not like super spacious but you can put quite basic stuff inside la. so this is great for like wedding dinners and more formal events it is not a super comfortable bag to carry because it is a metal chain and the metal chain is quite heavy I see so the bag is not very light for me personally right I like bags that are very light because I know that if it's heavy I just won't bother using it so um, that's the not so good point this is a Balenciaga bag that I also got from Ribbons and it's purple in colour with uh, iridescent hardware it's a very like a vivid shade of like purple its size is not bad it's not super small so you can still put quite a lot of stuff inside as you guys know i love this like rainbow looking like the hardware so i think it looks quite cool it is quite heavy though but not heavy enough to like put you off on using it back. this is also another motorcycle bag from balenciaga this one is slightly bigger than the purple one it is like neon pink so everyone can see it from a distance away and many people have told me that they really like this bag when they see me use it also it feels like really nice and soft like this cute like fringe thing as well the size is great uh, you can put quite a lot of stuff inside but you can carry it either like a sling or kind of putting your arm through here like that really like this bag gets you a lot of attention and really like everyone will ask you about it so i got this paragraph bag at ribbons as well and yeah it's another purple bag I have not used this bag at all eh. so it's like brand new I feel that like Ferragamo is just a little bit not so cool anymore these few years it used to be very cool when I was a freaking alien in school okay actually it's quite okay to use it's quite light also this shade of purple is just harder to match with clothes I don't know but this bag is also from Ribbons it's from their warehouse sale as well and I love this bag to death because it is very very light and it's like very buttery soft leather inside is like pink as well and the hardware are like gold so I guess this is like a pretty bag but it's not too formal it's kind of like casual as well so I actually brought it to travel with me to many different countries already and so far I don't see any stains so when I travel with my 
branded bags right I don't dare to put it inside the luggage and stuff so I will just care carry them so when I sit on the plane right you have to put the bag under the seat ma so it's like dirty so usually I'll just bring a dust bag to put it in so I guess I'll show you guys all the bags that I got from the Ribbons warehouse sale first and this is also from Ribbons um, it's a Prada cashier cashier how to pronounce I think something like that it means book so it looks like a book right so this was going for a really huge discount I think it was only selling for $600 or something which is insane cheap because normally the Prada book bags are like $4,000-$5,000 uh, although this one is a small tiny little one but it's pink and it's metallic and it's so pretty so you have to open this part first like that so it's very useless because it's very small and I find it very difficult to put things inside actually even my phone also cannot put inside so it is really like more like for formal events I guess when I don't need to have so much stuff but the bad point about it also is that it's very heavy for such a small bag yeah. Okay, like not very heavy, like quite heavy like Not heavy enough to kind of make me not ever want to use it But enough to turn me off a little bit Got another bag here that's also from Ribbons And this one is from Valentino I don't like it that the logo is only at the back very small Cannot really see Because I feel like I want the logo to be fucking big If I spend money on it, I want you to know that it's branded, okay? So I know it's super not classy But anyway, I think people can still tell because it's, uh, the studs are very distinctively uh, Valentino And it's a very pretty like pale shade of pink The thing that I do like about this bag is that it's quite light as well, it's very soft So you can put quite a lot of things inside However, you can't completely close it lah because there's still like a hole after you close it So if you bring it to travel, it might be a bit dangerous It is quite spacious inside Got a little pocket as well Bad part is that it's full of these studs right That are freaking sharp Hello And it's just very uncomfortable to have to deal with the studs all the time The studs look very nice But they're not super practical So what happens is for example If you carry this on your shoulder Sometimes it flips around right And then it's like Ow! It's so painful you know Then you have to like flip it back And then the worst thing about this is that um, It's made of this like very buttery soft leather right So it injures itself because like if you put it inside a cupboard and it's resting on its own studs right it actually like punctures a hole in the leather so when I keep it right I make sure that the strap is inside and then these two straps are also inside <laughs> and then I close it like that so that it won't like it won't hurt itself but then even if that's the case I put it in the cupboard with the other bags right the outside studs might still puncture the leather on the other bags so it's a dangerous bag. So I got this one from Ribbons as well and it's a YSL like little pouch or clutch. It's very sad because it's actually quite pretty and I really like the colour and the material is like a buttery leather as well. Uh, but I really never used it before and I just feel like it is a little bit too small to be used on a casual day out and it also doesn't have like a handle, proper handle so you have to hold it like this. As you guys can see right, it somehow has a little cushion effect it's quite thick so the stuff that you can put in is really not that much I don't think uh, I can like travel with this as my makeup pouch for example it's like way too small so the inside you can see it has all these like cut compartment stuff I'm not exactly sure what this is meant to be also like I mean if you use this for like a wedding dinner also a little bit too casual right so it's like when will I ever have a chance to use this Anyway, I'll try. I guess I regret this purchase a little bit. This is my first and only Chanel bag and it's so cute. So as you guys know, Chanel is like crazy overpriced lah. Huh? So I can still deal with the idea of parting maybe 2005 for a bag. But like 5000 is where I really like draw the limit lah. So Chanel bags are really very very expensive. But this one is not so bad. I think it was like 2000 I cannot really remember. I saw this design on Bagaholic Boy and I was like, oh my god, it is so freaking cute. There is also a bigger version of this bag which I love a lot but I just cannot bear to spend money on. It is in the shape of the vanity case. And both of them are like, I don't know, $5,000 or something very very ridiculous. Made of the same freaking material. There is no fucking leather on this. And then this is like just... It's just plastic air. Typically, I don't really like Chanel bags that much. I think I ruined it for myself because when I was younger, I would go to JB and buy like fake Chanel bags. So every time I see a Chanel bag, I just think of the fake one. So this bag is from Miu Miu and it's actually a Japanese collection. So this series of like with the shirling fur and everything is very hard to find because it's only available in Japan. So when I first saw this series, I really wanted to get it because it looks so cute, right? It's like great for like on a winter holiday. I have not used this bag yet because since I got it, I haven't been to a winter country and I feel like it's more like a winter look because the inside is all shilling fur as well. Oh wow, there's a little pouch inside, I didn't even know. 
Hey, free pouch! <laughs> in this like Miu Miu series, there is more bags with the shilling fur and I kind of regret getting the big one because I feel like it's just not super practical and it's not very very light either so during travel I think like lightness is very very important because you're going to dump a lot of rubbish when you are like walking around the whole day and you just don't want to have to carry a very heavy bag lah yeah so don't know when I'll have the chance to use this bag this bag is the Moschino collaboration with my little pony oh my god talk about a collaboration that is super 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 me okay I guess this is in shape of a jacket this two just by sweet only cannot put anything inside right? At the back, you can see that there's another pony with a little rainbow, it's so cute! So you can put quite a lot of stuff inside there and the material is like leather I guess. Um, I got this bag because a friend actually gave it to me as a gift but has asked to remain anonymous so I will not say who it is but it's not from my sugar daddy, it's from a girlfriend, okay? This bag is from Gucci and it's a velvety, I don't know, magenta, superish pink kind of colour. Show you guys what's inside. So it's like a satin blue colour inside, it's very pretty. It comes with a little belt as well that is detachable. So you can see like um, from here that there's a little heart shape as well. So all the Mamon collection has a Gucci like heart at the back and I think it's so cute. Um, the sad thing about this is that the belt even though it's detachable does not say Gucci at all. Like why can't you just give me a buckle that says Gucci so that I can use it as a belt as well you know. So there's this super small little beveled word inside here that says Gucci which nobody can tell because it's an inside of the belt. They then see they focus the on. This is another bag from the Gucci Mamon collection. Yeah, I really like it because it's like this nude shape that you can use to match with a lot of clothes, I guess. And I love this like, sort of antique gold colour. There is also the little heart at the back. It's very cute. You can use it with a long sling like that. Or you can use it like this. The inside is like a suede material and with a little extra compartment for you to put the smaller stuff. But the very bad thing about this bag is that it goes out of shape like super easily. So you can see that it's very flat, right? It's not supposed to have like this hole mark. It's supposed to be more structured looking, I guess. But also, if you have more structured looking bags, they tend to be more heavy. Um, when I got this bag, my friend actually warned me that it's going to flatten out and lose its shape and then she said in order to keep the shape, you should stuff the dust bag that comes with the bag inside the bag to keep it in shape lah. but I didn't bother to do it lah, so now it's flat. Okay, so I have with me here this LV heart shape bag. So this is I think 2700 This bag is really annoying because it is their online exclusive. Every time it's like available right, it's immediately sold out and it's limited edition so you can't get this bag anymore. Finally I had a contact who was working in LV and he managed to get me the bag. I was just like oh my god CIT and CIT you know. So I really love it that it has this little handle as well with rainbow tags on it. So pretty. I love that this bag is very versatile so you can use it in three different ways. First you can sling it and then you can also use it as a waist pouch. If I detach the strap, I can loosen it. I punctured another Oh. So when you make this strap very loose like that, attach the thing to this, okay? And then you can loop it around your waist like twice and use it as a waist pouch too. Yeah, so you can also use it as a clutch if you want. I guess if I have to choose a favourite out of all my bags here, which is really difficult because I love many of the bags here, uh, I guess I'll pick this because it is like the most difficult to get. When I finally got it right, I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy. So the inside is like a pink suede. So also the logo maybe. I got another one, this is another heart shape bag from Prada and I think this is also for their Valentine's Day collection but for the Chinese Valentine's Day. I think this one is like slightly more structured and also bigger than the LV one so you can put more stuff in it. And I love the design, it's like got a lot of like nice little hardware. Um, these two things are supposed to sit like that. I guess. Yeah. He's so cute! When you open the bag right, um, it's actually really quite spacious. You can put quite a lot of stuff inside. Inside is like red colour. Plus another little compartment at the back as well where you can put your phone. This like product collection really killed me right because there were many like heart shaped items and I bought another one more heart shaped item from that collection and this is the belt. Look at it, it's so cute! I've got another bag here from Balenciaga and this one is a second hand bag. I got it from eBay because it was very cheap. It was only like $200 but I really like the design because it's like a satin material and it's like a pinkish colour. But the reason why it's so cheap right is because you see the edges is like luxe already. But I was thinking maybe I can buy it and kind of like send it to be restored. 
um, and somehow I just never bothered to do it lah, huh? so it is still here not really being used it's quite useless because it is a clutch like there is nothing you can do but to hold it like that which is a terrible idea because after a while right you're gonna have a fingerprint like all here right so what I did was I attached a chain to it by myself this chain does not come with the bag and I got my mother to sew it for me <laughs> This bag is from Fendi and I really like this bag so much. So this one is Sophie's fault because she whatsapped me and she was like, do you see that Farfetch is selling this bag for a discount? And how much was it? Uh? I don't remember, 1008 I think. Yeah, which is actually really cheap because for backpacks, right, usually backpacks are a lot more expensive than those normal sling bags. I don't even know why, it's so annoying. So 1008 is actually an okay price because the original price was like 3000 plus and it is a very spacious little backpack. The inside is black and it is made of this like velvet material. A lot of my friends told me like don't buy the bag because after a while, right, velvet bags, the fur will drop and it will go bald and it will... it's very easy to get dirty as well and get stained because it's velvet. But I guess so far, so good. I love this bag because I think that it's very practical, it's very light as well. The straps are like that. This is my latest purchase. So this bag is from LV and it is actually a version of the Neverfull bag which is one of their classic bag designs. But it is in a pastel rainbow colour. At first when I bought it, I was like, wow, it's so big, I'll never be able to fill it up. But actually I still use it like, because it's so easy to just dump things inside. It's very, very super spacious. Comes with a little compartment inside for you to put other things and you can kind of lock the bag close like that. When you buy a bag from LV, they actually can embroider the bag with your initials if you want to, up to three letters I think. So I decided to go for it and it has a little XX on it. Also comes with a little pouch. I don't really like the pouch that much because I feel right this pink, yellow, purple slash blue colour it just it's not as nice as when there is the turquoise in there like you need the turquoise so it just looks nicer and I also love it that you can also kind of tighten this I guess to make it go inside like that yeah so I guess the bag can also become this shape but I think the original shape is nicer so this bag is like really light very casual you can bring it for like travel and stuff also and the behind is actually the small LV print so you can flip it around if you prefer the small one or the giant monogram one Okay, so we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and the bag sparked joy for you guys the same way it sparks joy for me. So I've decided to give away this Fair Grammo bag to one of you guys. It's worth about, I think the original price is about $1,000 and this is the Fair Grammo Vera Bow Camera Crossbody bag. It has never been used before, it's brand new. I don't have the box though, so anyway. So in order to qualify for this amazing giveaway, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, make sure that your profile is not private so that I can check. So I'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can submit your names, okay? So I'll see you guys next time and good luck! Bye!